Hello and welcome to our project toward competency-based best practices for global health and dental education, a Global Health Starter Kit. I wish to acknowledge my co-editors, Janice Cho and Jane Barrow, who assisted in editing the Global Health Starter Kit. First, I'm going to give you some background information and then I'll talk a bit more about the Starter Kit in detail. So this project is led by the Global Oral Health Interest Group of the Consortium of Universities for Global Health, CUGH. CUGH is comprised of 145 academic institutions and other organizations from around the world engaged in addressing global health challenges through education, research, service, and advocacy. In 2013, the first interest group formed within CUGH, the Global Oral Health Interest Group, GOHIG comprised of health professionals from a variety of disciplines. In response to the Lancet Commission on Education of Health Professionals for the 21st Century and their call for transformative learning in health professional education, GOHIG developed an interdisciplinary competency matrix for global oral health, which was published in the Journal of Dental Education in 2015. Following a workshop that GOHIG members led at the annual American Dental Education Association meeting in 2016, GOHIG published a successive article that outlines competency-based global health education specifically for dental students. Building from these successes, GOHIG is taking the next steps toward consensus building for best practices for global health and dental education. The Global Health Starter Kit aims to provide practical support specifically for dental educators like you who are working toward unified competency-based standards and equipping the future generation of dental professionals with starting tools to address the tremendous burden of oral diseases worldwide and their consequences. Before going into the details of the Starter Kit, I just want to acknowledge the following for their support of this project, the Consortium of Universities for Global Health Dr. Thomas Hall Global Health Education Grant, the International College of Dentists USA Section Foundation, the CUGH Global Oral Health Interest Group for the Global Oral Health Competency Matrix and for their peer review and edits of the Starter Kit, and the Harvard School of Dental Medicine Department of Oral Health Policy and Epidemiology and Office of Global and Community Health coursework that inspired much of the content of the Starter Kit. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the intended use of the Starter Kit. It is free and available for anyone to use for educational purposes. You may use, adapt, and modify the Starter Kit materials to suit the needs of you and your students to create an individualized teaching and learning experience. We just ask that you give proper credit to the project under the terms of our Creative Commons license. The Starter Kit we've made available in two formats. The first format is um, intended to be instructor-led, so by you. It includes teaching notes, assessments, and in-class activities. The second format to provide a little more flexibility is available for those who want to engage in self-guided learning with included readings where um, each presentation can be taught in video format and then um, available for self-viewing. And then finally, your feedback is very valuable. So we ask that um, when you're invited to submit your feedback and take any surveys related to the project, please do so and feel free to contact us anytime with feedback. Now I'm going to dive into the details of the project and the modules. We have five modules in the series and each module contains a for the teacher video summary that gives you some tips and tools for teaching the module. Uh, we explain the related competencies from the Global Oral Health Competency Matrix. We've written learning objectives that are measurable, and we've included a suggested evaluation metric and sample assessment to go with those learning objectives. We've provided module content and detailed the teaching notes so that if you don't have a background in a particular topic, we've provided you with some in-depth resources and notes about the topic, and then a pedagogy description. The modules are designed to be taught in sequence and in full, but they can serve as standalone lessons if you prefer. We've followed the Thomas and Kern's six-step approach for curriculum development for this project. The process of creating and designing each module took place in the following order. We began with selecting the competencies. We then wrote from those measurable learning objectives, developed an evaluation metric, wrote the content of the module, created a pedagogy for teaching it, and then wrote an assessment for assessing that content. Module one is titled Global Trends, and it was co-authored with Christy Colburn. 
you can see that it is related to these selected competencies from the Global Oral Health Competency Matrix. And it covers topics like the global burden of disease, the demographic and epidemiologic trends and transitions, and how those impact oral health. Module two is titled Global Goals and was co-authored by Dr. John Dono. It's related to the competencies that you see here, and it covers topics like an introduction to health systems and policy, and we also introduce global health institutions and the millennium and sustainable development goals. Module three is titled Back to Basics, Primary Care, and is co-authored with doctors Lisa Simon, Carlos Ferron, and Hugh Silk. It's related to the competencies you see, and we talk about the relationship be between oral health health and general health. We revisit the Alma-Ata, we talk about the role of primary care in today's globalizing world, and we even introduce um, concepts of universal health coverage. Module 4 is entitled Social Determinants and Risks and was co-authored with Drs. Jennifer Casper and Karen Sokol Gutierrez. It's related to the competencies you see here. We talk about the social determinants for health and disease worldwide. We also cover concepts like vulnerable populations, the concept of the bottom billion, and sociocultural and biomedical models of health and disease. And the final module of the series is Module 5 with a focus on ethics and sustainability. It was co-authored with Drs. Judith Lasker, Jessica Evert, Irene Adiatmika, Gustavo Bermudez Mora, and Carl Woodmansey. And this has a strong focus on um, making sure that any efforts that we undertake to address the challenges that we discuss in the modules one through four have an ethical component and consider sustainability of those programs. I want to just take a minute and note that, of course, no single module can actually teach all of the competencies, but that each of these modules is part of our effort to work towards best practices for competency-based global health teaching and learning. This module series has been classroom tested with ongoing evaluation, of course, and the content was based on the original Harvard School of Dental Medicine course, Global Oral Health Interdisciplinary Approaches and its successors. The course has been adapted for the competency-based starter kit process and its development. The Global Health Starter Kit was piloted in place of prior course materials in the spring of 2008. So instead of using our course materials, we got rid of all of those and we used the competency-based starter kit as it is and tested that during our spring course. And as you can see, preliminary findings demonstrate that students' self-reported knowledge scores were comparable and in most instances higher for this year's pilot of the Global Health Starter Kit compared to the five prior years of the course. So I want to thank you for learning more about our project and happy teaching.